Imagine that you are given the following. Z1 is equal to minus 3 plus pi and Z2 is equal to 5 minus 3i. And then I asked you to find Z1 over Z2, which is minus 3 plus i over 5 minus 3i. I'm asking you to divide complex numbers that are given in Cartesian form. In order to divide complex numbers given in Cartesian form, it is important that you ask yourself, can I write it in the form x plus y i? Which means, can you write this fraction here as a single complex number given in Cartesian form? In order to do that, we will need a real denominator, which means we will need to get a real number out of this complex number here. And we can do such a thing if we introduce first the concept of the conjugate of a complex number. The conjugate of a complex number Z is another complex number that has the same real part but opposite imaginary part. In order to represent the conjugate of a complex number, we use a bar on top of the name of the original number. So in general, if we have z is equal x plus yi, which is the Cartesian form of a complex number, then the conjugate of z, z bar, will be a complex number with the same real part, but opposite imaginary part. So rather than plus y, we'll have minus y. Let's do the following example, which says, find the conjugate of z, which is equal to 5 minus 3i, and then calculate z by its conjugate. What can you say about your result? The first thing we're going to do is to find what is z bar. What is the conjugate of z? Have a look at that. The conjugate of a complex number is another complex number that has same real part, therefore this is going to be 5, but then opposite imaginary part. So if the imaginary part of our initial number is minus 3i, then the conjugate will have imaginary part plus 3i. Now if we multiply z by z bar, we have 5 minus 3i by 5 plus 3i, which is just the multiplication of two complex numbers, and we've seen how to do this in the previous video. So if we multiply, we have 25 plus 15i minus 15i minus 9i squared. The most important thing when multiplying a complex number and its conjugate is that the imaginary part cancels and therefore in this case we are left with 25 and then since i square is minus 1 we have 25 plus 9 which is 34 which is in fact a real number. Now in general when we have z x plus y i and its conjugate z bar x minus y i if we multiply them, what happens is that we get x by x, x squared, x by minus y i is minus x y i, then y i by x, which is plus x y i, and finally y i by minus y i, which is minus y square i squared. It does happen in the general case that imaginary parts cancel each other and in this case we are left with x squared plus y squared which is going to be a real number. Just note that z by z bar is the same as z bar by z and that will also be real.